let me see what you've got. All right, I'm going off Dragon Ball Super episode 28. This is my first impressions of it. I just wanted to do. Oh my gosh, this episode was just amazing. I didn't even watch the subtitle either, and I thought it was pretty amazing. Like, this is just gonna be thoughts on top of my head. This is not an actual review part because I'm gonna rewatch it tomorrow when there's actually subtitles out. But this is just kind of my first impressions of a whole new story and everything. All right, so let's get this first impression started. What's up, guys? One eight three here, and yes, we are back with <laughs> Dragon Ball Super yet again and wow this episode was just fantastic from start to end whole new story so there wasn't you didn't have to compare anything for once nothing except you want to compare art to the old one but nothing there was really nothing to compare you can't say oh this, this story is faster paced in the movie there was no movie counterpart that's amazing about it they don't have anything to live up to so you cannot get disappointed as much <laughs> in this from this story arc from now on so now what we had was Goku and Vegeta training of course they were training with Whis and they were in those big fat suits like they were in manga chapter 5 and yes I've been reading the manga as it comes out so I know a lot of the story how it's happening right now and they were kinda of doing like their one finger push ups and Shampa arrives and he makes some huge noises and Beerus he gets super mad I mean <laughs> <laughs> he got so mad, he thought it was Goku and Vegeta making all the noise. He, 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 he tried to kill them. He really tried to kill them. And then, I just thought that was super funny. So they ended up trying to hide from beer. Shampa comes up. Like, uh, he just... <laughs> he's He comes up, he's trying to like... He's about to bash through the door for some reason. I don't know, I wish I knew what the subtitles were saying. And then Beerus bashes the door open with the door almost hitting Shampa right in the face. So he does like this little matrix thing. He's like, whoa! And like dust is all over him. Beerus is super mad at Goku and Vegeta. He's like, Goku! Vegeta! Where are you? <laughs> okay, so he's just raging at them, right? He is just... Oh my gosh. And then, you know, and then Shampa, they start getting their little argument. Shampa and Beerus, they have, like, this relation, this weird hate relationship going on. They don't really hate each other, but they, they get very irritated at each other, okay? Like, they, for some reason, they still talk. It's like one of those friends that, it's like, you get so annoyed at them, but you, you just can't stop talking. It's, it's like one of the, those things. Like, they're that one annoying friend that you just can't stop being friends with. Anyway. So they have their little conversation, and then they go, and and they go have some dinner. They're, they're, well, whatever. They're having like a little competition between foods, like one from Universe Six and one from Universe Seven. Uh, Universe Seven being the one we know. Okay, and then like Shampa brings out this little uh, egg thing, and then Goku he lets Goku and Vegeta try it. They're like. Uh, it's pretty they're like yeah it's pretty good and Goku of course loves it because why not and Beerus he tastes it he's like Ugh. and it's it's all right I guess I mean it's nothing like this ramen here <laughs> and then he gives Champa some ramen Goku and Vegeta are loving that and Champa he's like how are they loving this it's not it can't be as good as this egg right here and then he tries it and then he's like loving he's like <laughs> Oh, that got sound. That might sound out of not good out of context, but he's just like slurping up. Him and Vados are just slurping it up, and then <laughs> he's like, "Oh my gosh, that's so good! Oh my gosh!" Like I kind of I know what's pretty much going on in this story because I read the manga. I kind of like know kind of what context was going on. Anyways, so in the whole kind of conversation, Goku at some point he's like, "Hey, who's stronger, Beerus or Shampa?" And I'm like. I wonder if they're going to say something. They, of course, they, they responded with something, but I don't know what they said. And then um, some other stuff happens, yada, yada, yada. And Beerus and Shampa somehow get into, like, some another argument. And Beerus is, like, laughing at Shampa. And then Shampa says something. And then that's when you know it's about to go down. Yeah, it's about to go down. And then, you know, they start hitting each other. For a little bit, and <laughs> like right before they actually start hitting each other, um, it like the camera goes to uh, Goku and Vegeta, and like and Vegeta's like way back. He's like, nope, ain't gonna get involved. Nope. <laughs> Goku's like, Vegeta, wait up! And then 
um, Beerus and Champa start hitting each other, and then like this little purple wave thing that's like destroying the ground comes right. Th uh, it's like comes slowly coming out. And Goku, Vegeta, are, like backing up, like I don't think we should touch that. And then like after they're done, Infados and we stops them because they're like destroying the universe or something like that, or the universe is from what I've heard from other YouTubers. Um, like the whole thing stops and calms down. And then Goku, he's like, oh, I don't know. And then he like touches the ground, and the whole ground falls apart. And then Goku and Vegeta like fall down, and <laughs> and then you know, and then stuff happens from now on. And then Champa somehow goes for like the world tournament thing that they were talking about, and that's what we know later on. And this whole conversation, I couldn't really understand it. Um, so that all happens, and then I'm guess I'm obviously it's gonna be accepted because um, Beerus accepts it. And then Goku, at the end, he's like, yes! And then episode ends right there. And I thought this was a fantastic episode. Dragon Ball Super should have more episodes like this. When the fighting gets on, it better be very well choreographed. I mean, I don't want the manga showing up the anime for this. If they're going to take something, take some tips from the manga. If the freaking one-week story is true, take some tips from the manga. Toy Taro's doing a great job of choreographing this. Let's do it like that. It. I just can't wait. And <laughs> this arc is made. I. I was fangirling through this whole episode, and I, I just can't wait until the next episode. And I'll do a review tomorrow. Tonight, this is kind of like my first impressions. My first <laughs> impressions off this episode. I am just so excited for this whole new arc. Dragon Ball Super is coming out full swing finally. And I don't think it's going to be better in Z in terms of storytelling, of course, because, you know, of all the tension, there's really no tension in this 10 years time skip, but I really think it's going to be a very fun side story that goes on, and I, I just, oh man, this story, man, I, I love Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball's good, it's really good, and this, like, episodes like this remind me of why Dragon Ball is my favorite series. So... Make sure you leave a like on the video, it really helps the channel a lot, and make sure you subscribe for more Dragon Ball content, or any other little mini anime stuff here and there, Dragon Ball Super content coming at you, and I will see you guys in the next video.